Hi, welcome. Here's your writing lesson 6.5. We are going to prepare to write our poem. Uh, we are going to be focusing on elements of poetry. So when I pull this up, elements means parts of. So the parts of poetry, what makes up a poem? Messages, stanza, sound patterns, and sensory words. So what is a message? A message tells about a thing or a place. A stanza is a group of lines. A lot of times you guys have questions that says, what's different about this stanza or what's different about the way this is written? A stanza is a group of lines. Sound patterns in poems could be things such as alliteration. Remember we went over this. Alliteration means words that all start with the same letter, like big brown bear. Sound patterns also include rhymes, like the words that rhyming words, hop, stop, drop. Sound patterns also include rhythm, like one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door. It's rhythm. Sound patterns also include automatopoeia. Everyone say automatopoeia. automatopoeia. Those are words that make sounds, like crash, bang, zoom, boom, beep. Ah. That's an automatopoeia. So... Poetry has these different sound patterns. It doesn't have to have all of them. It doesn't have to have alliteration, rhyme, rhythm, and onomatopoeia, but it has to have at least one, and the better the poem, the more it has. A poem also has sensory language, and this is what we've really been focusing on. Sensory language is language that uses your sight, or your sound, or your smell, or your touch, or your taste. Okay, so here... They give you an example. I'm going to read it. It says, there was a little guinea pig who, being little, was not big. Tiny feet, chubby cheeks, curly hair, and tiny squeaks. This tiny fellow's appetite was always big day and night. So the message is the very first sentence, sentence which is, there was a little guinea pig. The stanza is the different parts of the poem, the different sections. So the first part is the first stanza. Sensory words are squeak. Do we taste squeak? Do we smell squeak? Do we see squeak? Do we hear squeak? Yes. So that's a sensory word that we can hear. And then there's a sound pattern, which is this tiny fellow's appetite was always big day and night. Appetite and night what? They rhyme. There's rhyming words, okay? All right, so that's an example of a poem. So what we're going to be focusing on today is sometimes the weather helps us decide what to do that day. Think about how the weather affects what you do and what you wear. When it's cold outside, what are things we like to do? Remember we talked about that. Who can remind us? Amaria? We like to play in the snow. We like to drink hot drinks. We like to wear our jackets. We like to turn on the fireplace. Those are all things that we like to do in the cold. What are things we like to do in the spring? Remember, spring is in like in March, April, May. What, what are things we like to do in the spring, JC? Uh, too cold to swim, that's summer. What do we like to do in the spring, Leah? Garden. Very good. We like to garden. We like to plant flowers. That's when things come alive again, right? Mm -hmm. We like to play outside. We like, because it's beautiful weather. We like to, nope, playing the leaves is not in the spring. That's in the fall. Okay. Now, what comes after spring? Summer. What are things we like to do in the summer class? We like to go swimming. We like to go camping. We like to go hiking. That's all we like to eat cold things like popsicles and ice cream because it's hot outside. These are things we do in the summer. In the summer, we probably don't want to wear a jacket. Now it's time to lighten up our clothes a little bit, right? Now it's time to take off all those blankets you use when, uh, on your bed at night, right? Because it's summertime. It's warmer. All right. And then now, what about the fall? What are things we like to do in the fall? What are things... We like to eat turkey. We like to play in the leaves. How do we dress Jasmine in the fall? Very good. A jacket, but not a very heavy jacket. Good job. That's excellent. 
because uh, it's cool, but it's not cold. There's a difference. It's 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 nice outside, and we like to. That's the time that we eat turkey for Thanksgiving, or the time we eat a lot of pumpkin things because that's in October, right? All right. So what we're gonna do today is I want you to write about the weather and you. Describe the weather and how it helps you decide what to do that day. So you're gonna describe your favorite weather, whether it's spring, summer, fall, or autumn. Or uh, autumn is fall, spring, what am I missing? Spring, summer, fall, winter, winter. So what's your favorite weather? Don't say it, write it. And describe the weather during that season and how it helps you decide what to do on that day. That's all you're going to do today. I want you to do that in your writing notebook on the next blank page. Okay? Have fun writing, and if you have any questions, let me know. I will see you later. Bye.